Another banner year for the Arlington International Film Festival, which took place November 1st through the 4th. I spoke to AIFF founder Alberto Guzman, who said he was very pleased with the overwhelming response he received from moviegoers, sponsors, and volunteers alike. The AIFF featured movies from all over the world, covering a wide range of subjects, from historical documentaries to films on social justice abroad. Guzman said this year's festival attracted a slightly younger audience than in years past, and that many theater seats were filled with film buffs who reside far from the confines of Arlington. Alberto says he's already planning for next year's coming attractions. We'll keep you posted. Meanwhile, we bring to you sounds from magical Soweto and South Africa. Listen to this. This is the color and pageantry of Imolanji Cantu, an award-winning South African choir with deep roots in the past that continues to sing about present-day struggles for freedom and equality. Imolanji Cantu will be performing November 10th at Arlington Town Hall. This one-of-a-kind choir was founded 30 years ago in Soweto. These marvelous entertainers were among the first to publicly express through song the struggles under apartheid in South Africa. Choir leaders say many of these singers witnessed firsthand the horrors and cruelty in the South Africa apartheid years ago. They vowed to lend their voices to let the world know about the atrocities that befell their friends and the unfinished work that remains. Members of Imolongi Cantu were honored to sing at the inauguration of President Nelson Mandela in 1994 and at the enthronement of Nobel Peace Laureate Archbishop Desmond Tutu. After South Africa achieved democratic rule, the choir continued to spread its message of peace and reconciliation and has been an unrelenting messenger of hope throughout the world and it continues with its 2018 Boston tour. Imolongi's visit to the Bay State is sponsored by the Sharing a New Song Chorus, or SANS, who accompanied Emilangi on its South Africa tour 2012 and 2017. Sands and Arlington Center for the Arts fought hard to bring Emilangi right here to Arlington. Now you have the opportunity to support their concert and workshop at Arlington Town Hall Saturday, November 10th. Those who go will learn songs, dances, and discuss the diverse cultural traditions of South Africa. You can learn more about Emilangi's Cantu's visit to Boston and purchase tickets by visiting their website acarts.org or sandschorus.org. That's it for this week. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jamie Joseph for Arlington Public News.